Hey everyone, welcome to new video. Olama has recently partnered with the OpenAI and OpenAI has open sourced its first model after GPT-2. Now they are giving here GPT-OSS model. It is very much optimized for NVIDIA RTX GPUs and also with the Olama. We will go in the detail. Previously, I have covered about the Olama, how you can test with the Olama application. These videos are available at my channel KGP Talkie. In today's lesson, I'll show you what are the additional features are released by OpenAI and the Olama. You need to download it. Once it is downloaded, then you need to just open your Olama application after installation. Thereafter, you will see here a couple of changes. The one change you will notice here that you have got you have got here the GPT OSS model. This 20 billion model takes around 16 GB of RAM. I'm just going to say hi. So as soon as I say here hi, it will automatically download this model. So the model size is like a 13 GB, but overall memory it will take around 16 to 18 GB to work with. Other models, if you notice here, you have GPT OSS 120 billion parameter model, which takes around 80 GB RAM and other models we had already explored here. All right. The additional feature you will notice here that there is the web search. So earlier in the previous video here, in this video, I had shown you that when we try to get the latest information using the Ulama, we were not able to get the any of the latest information. And that was the limitation with the Ulama. If we compare this Ulama application with the cloud desktop or the GPT, Chat GPT desktop applications. But now Ulama has brought this, uh, this search feature. Now we can get the latest information as well. So basically this Ulama is changing the overall uh, local LLM phase here. You can have your model here. You can do all the stuff locally without sending your data to any any LLM provider like Anthropic or OpenAI. Once this model is downloaded, then I'll show you how you can use these features. Apart from that, you will notice here that if you want to use the turbo mode, then you need to sign in here the Olama account. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to sign in here. Seems like this model is downloading, so it is not allowing me to sign in. Otherwise, what I can do here, I can come here. Thereafter, I can go here in the setting. Then I can click on the sign in. Once you click on the sign in, it will ask you to create the account. Let me just show you. So it is going to ask you to create the account, something like this. If you already have, otherwise you can create the account here. All right, so I'm going to create this account and then I'll continue this video. So the account is created. Now I want to connect my desktop here. So I just click on here to connect. And thereafter it says that this particular desktop is connected here. All right. So the account is created. Let's go ahead and see our turbo mode. So basically we come here and thereafter you will notice as soon as you make here enable this turbo. So the turbo mode is actually the paid service by the Olama. Just let me just show you here the Olama turbo mode. So you will notice the turbo is the paid service. It is going to cost us based on hourly usage. So currently the usage are not uh, uh, not released here in the Olama application. But later I hope that they are going to release. So why this turbo mode came here? Because you see everyone do not have um, everyone do not have a large GPU at home. So let's say if someone want to use this Olama application interface, but they want to run their model, their choice of the model on some you know, industry grade GPU, then they can use that turbo mode where the Olama will run those models on somewhere, uh, you know, the, at remote server. So if we say that it is going to run with the turbo mode, then I would say that this is not completely local or this is not completely private because this data, whatever the data we are going to run, that data, whatever the data we are going to send to the Olama, that data is going to be sent to the United States. That is where their, uh, uh, the turbo hardwares are currently located in case of the Olama. Now we come here, then we see that seems like our model is downloaded. Let me just check that. Hi. And seems like, yes, the model is downloaded and it is able to tell us that, hello, how can I help you? 
Now we can enable the search and then we can say that what is current news. Let's say I just search it here. Now it is going to get the seems like okay. So it is still downloading. Okay, the one thing I think I missed here that when I had selected this turbo mode, then what happened here? It automatically connected with some remote location and it tried to give us the answer here, we see. So the currently Olama is giving us here a free preview to use this turbo mode. But later on, as they have said here that they are definitely going to avoid here this free version for very long period of time. So while it is downloading, what we can do, we can enable turbo mode and the search mode uh, together. And then we can ask that what is current news. All right. Seems like until it downloads, it is not going to call it. All right. We have to wait here. All right. So the model is downloaded. Now you can see here that model is getting loaded here. My dedicated GPU memory is increasing here constantly. Now it is reaching to like 22 GB and max memory currently I am having here 32 GB. And uh, CPU is also getting consumed here a little bit. And uh, Wi-Fi is now going down. That means all the download has happened. All right. So the model is downloaded. Thereafter, you will see what is the current news. It thought for a second. And thereafter, it searched here. And thereafter, it got some result here. Seems like from various sources. And thereafter, it has actually combined all those news together. But seems like it is still trying to search. And this is the date, today's date, August 6. Uh, 2025 news and not then finally it is going to put all the news here now you can see that how good it is this is this is awesome right this olama is changing the overall phase of the private llm here now it has also provided here the source and it has provided the story what is happening and the key detail all these things have have been provided here now i'm gonna use here the turbo mode and then then let's go and see how much time it is gonna take so in the turbo mode, it says that I have reached the usage limit. Please up upgrade to the continue. Let's go ahead and see what it is asking to upgrade it. As soon as I come here, then it is saying that I need to pay how much? $20 per month to use this. Wow. This is definitely not the correct, right? <laughs> Okay, so you see that how you can use this turbo mode only once I guess I was able to use that only once other than that uh, it is asking me to pay for it. Anyway, now we can use this uh, GPT OSS 20 billion model. The one thing we also see here in the detail where they have actually disclosed all the details about that about this particular model. Let me just see that where is that here it is. OpenAI GPT OSS, they talk a lot about the agentic capabilities. These are the features, what they say, like built in web search. And also, they are saying that the Python tool calls and the structured output. This is something I could not figure out that how to do that. If you guys get to know that how to do these tool calls and structured output formatting, please let me know. I do not see any option here to provide. The one option I can just see that here to select remote search and the turbo mode other than that in the settings also i do not see the much of the changes all these things are almost the same what i had seen the previously the another thing i see here the airplane mode probably let's say if i want to keep all the data locally and i want to make sure that my my application does not connect with the internet this is something i can select here so it will not go to the internet in no matter what I try. Now you can see all these things are disabled. Now if I come here and then I disable this, thereafter I can see this is enabled. The another thing you will notice here that if you select other models, so you will see these remote search and uh, remote search and that uh, other one is gone there, the turbo mode. So what they say here that this remote search and the turbo mode is currently enabled only for the open AI models, only for these two models. And it is not enabled as of now for other models. The another thing they say that it uses here MXFP floating point four, basically MX floating point four format. That means 
per parameter it is going to take here four bits only all right because of this they are able to save here a lot of memory because of this 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 20 billion parameter model is taking around just 12 to 13 gb and it is taking like uh, how much it took let me just see it here again so it took around the 22 gb of the overall gpu uh, while working in the real world scenario all right other than that they talk about this uh, uh, the, these two different models and they also revealed here that Olama and Nvidia have collaborated together so that they can accelerate this GPT OSS model inference on the GeForce RTX and GeForce RTX Pro GPUs. So, what does this mean? This means if we upload, let's say, some RAG document here, let me just get some document and then I'll upload that document. So, here is the document and then I'm just gonna get the finance document. Let's go ahead and get this Amazon document. This is the 10Q document. It has like, uh, uh, I guess, 100 page or so. And this I'm going to pass in our Olama. And then I'm going to say that here. Extract earning reports. All right. Other than that, I would say that here, extract income statement cash flow and balance sheet all right let's go ahead and see if it is able to extract i'm gonna turn off the internet and then let's go ahead and see it all right in meantime we can see here that the gpu usage so as soon as i hit that now you can see the gpu usage is increasing here consistently and uh, cpu usage has also increased here we need to see that once model is completely loaded whether it is going to do the inference from the GPU or it is going to use the CPU. That is something a bug has been have, uh, has been uh, found in the Olama when uh, the model becomes a little bit larger, although you have here the remaining memory, but even after that, this Olama tries to run your model on the CPU instead of the GPU. And seems like that is something I'm facing here. I can see my CPU consumption has gone up uh, quite up actually but my gpu consumption is not at the 100 percent all right so we need to wait here some time so that it can extract these income statement cash flow and then i'll let you how powerful this gpt oss model is here all right so the prediction has started seems like token per second speed is quite fast so i would say that overall prediction uh this token generation is being done from the gpu itself but still i can feel that my gpu is not getting 100 percent utilized so i am a little bit confused here whether it is actually using the gpu or it is using cpu because i see the cpu usage is reaching like a 50 percent but gpu usage is like just 30 to 35 percent only all right even though if it is running on the cpu so i see that it is quite fast and it is extracting all the data here in the thinking mode first of all so with this we can say that the gpt oss model is thinking model basically and uh, we had uploaded here the 10q filing of the q324 we can see that correctly here and this pdf appears the 10q document and it has started here uh, searching the term like the balance sheet consolidated balance sheet and all these things thereafter it has started extracting all the details here now you will notice here all these details are getting extracted once all these details are extracted thereafter it is going to prepare it seems like i asked here to extract everything but it is producing here just a final answer that is the consolidated balance sheet this is completely wrong let me ask the another question here to me earning report so seems like this is the problem with the gpt oss model because the previously i have tested this particular question with the other model i was able to get the balance sheet income statement and the cash flow and um, seems like this could not understand that particular question but i can see here that this understood here this question when i asked show me the earning report now it is able to answer me here in very you know the quick way it is able to give us the total details about the earning reports all these things i can see it here 
लाइक यू हैव दी रेवेन्यू ग्रोथ ई डब्ल्यू एस ग्रोथ प्राइम वीडियो ग्रोथ एडवर्टाइजिंग ऑल दीज डिटेल्स हियर और राइट तो विद दिस आई कैन सी आई कैन से हियर दैट ओलामा हैज रियली डन हियर अ वेरी गुड जॉब ओलामा हैज बीन यू नो डूइंग ऑल दी सिंस को एट सम टाइम दे हैव पार्टनर विद द ओपन ए आई एंड द एन वी डी आई एज वेल तो आई एम श्योर इन कमिंग मंथ्स दे आर गोइंग टू रिलीज न्यू एप्लीकेशन वेयर वी कैन डू ऑल द सेटअप टू कॉल द कस्टम टूल्स अलॉन्ग विद दैट i i wish if i could have here the option to connect with the mcp and some remote servers as well so i guess all these features are going to come with the olama and then olama is definitely going to overtake all these chat gpt applications and the cloud desktop application all right so this is all about in this video bye bye take care